I'm gonna show you how to tie an ice splice on a three strand rope. An ice splice is stronger than just tying a bowling for an eye. Plus, it's a lot more smooth and it won't catch on things, which is very important in my line of work, using it as a tagline. If you wanna learn how to tie this bad boy, stay tuned. The eye splice is a great way to make a permanent eye in a rope. On the plus side, it only reduces the rope strength by 15%. Typically, a knot reduces the strength of a rope by 50. What you will need to do an eye splice is a three lay rope, obviously, and some electrical tape for whipping. We're not gonna get all crazy with whipping today in this video. And I'm gonna use a pin maybe to just point to hopefully it makes it a little easier for you guys to see. We aren't gonna use any special crazy tools like a Marlin spike or anything like that. You can do this on the job site, in your garage, at home with bare basic tools. Mainly because manila rope is very manipulable and if you're using like other types of synthetic ropes or stuff, you might need to use a crazy tool, but if you do, if you use manila rope, like we are in this video, you won't have to use any special tools. Because this lay isn't rigid and aggressive. We totally got this. So first, you will want to decide how big of an eye you would like to make. So a little eye, a huge eye, whatever. Once you decide what size of eye you'd like to make, grab your electrical tape and mark around where you would like to start your weave. Make sure you have enough on the dead end in order to weave into the running end. With manila rope, you want to have five tucks into the running end. <clears throat> so that's more than enough right there. So I'm going to make a mark on both sides, the running end and the dead end with my uh, electrical tape. Now that you're all marked and ready to go, undo the tape or whipping on the dead end and be careful that you don't mess up the three strands on the end. When you expose the three strands, you're gonna individually electrical tape or whip the end of each strand. You want to electrical tape it nice and tight so it helps you weave through the running end. You don't have to use a crap ton of electrical tape either. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Now that you have your ends individually whipped, you can unstrand to the electrical tape. Be careful, don't do this excessively and mess up all the strands. So now you want to lay the rope so the running end, the end that you're gonna weave into is away from you and the dead end is 
close to you. You want to position the dead end, the end closest to you, where you have three strands, one in the middle, one in the top, and one at the bottom. The middle strand, this is very important if you want to do this right, you'll mess up right off the start if this isn't right. Your middle strand needs to be the top strand, just like it is. Now that you've determined that the middle strand is the top strand, you're going to start on the top strand over here where you're going to start your weave. You just untwist, nice and gentle like, and then stab the middle strand through. You want to do this kind of carefully. You want to make sure that it keeps its natural little curls because this is going to help weave into the running in. It's also really important to pull this nice and tight and so it seats really well. The top, the top strand on the dead end that you're going to weave into here needs to come up through the loop. See how it's going underneath the loop right now? This is bad. You want to make sure that this goes underneath like that. So now that it's underneath, going up through the, through the eye, you're going to go over the next strand and under the next. So over, under, over this strand, under the next. Same thing, pull that tight, go back and pull the middle one tight. You're going to have to do this as you go. The very hardest part is the bottom strand, setting this up right. If you set up your initial strands perfectly, the rest is easy. This next part, you're going to want to 180 your rope, pay close attention on what goes on here. This strand goes in the same strand as the middle strand that you first put in. The catch is it goes around. I'm going to use the pin. So here's the strand. It's the same strand that this one came through or is next to, but you're not going to yourself, you're going away. So it has to go over, over the strand and then back and around. Once you pull that tight and all the other ones, if you put an imaginary line right here, all the strands poking through the working end should be on the same position. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be in different positions on this side of the rope. They should all be in the same spot. If they're not, you mess something up. So go back and slowly do it again. But we are ready to proceed. So the next step is working closest to you, you start by going over the strand of the running end and under the next strand. So over this strand and under that strand. So over and then unweave it a little bit, do a little twist and then under that side. Just like that, leaving the natural curls, pulling it tight. And then after you do that one, you just get it out of the way and then barely turn over your rope and do the same thing. So we're going to go over that one and under that one. Over, under. The over, under technique is really easy. Same thing, untwist, put it through, pull it tight, easy peasy. Twisting it again, over that one and then under that one. So over. Little untwist action, under, boom, pulling tight, 
So same thing, after every time you put strands through, draw your little imaginary line and spin it. If all of these aren't exiting from here in the same position, somewhere you messed up, so just slowly backtrack and you will see where you messed up. We are not messed up, so we're gonna keep going. Over, under, really easy guys. Over, under, over, under, The main thing is you don't want to mistake one of these lines with one of these. You're only over undering the lay or the strands on this rope, not this. You're weaving this rope into this rope. So that was our third tuck. We don't need to keep going, but since I have a little bit more, instead of cutting it, I'm just gonna keep going. Screw it. So you can roll it and get it down more, but there you go. I ended up getting five tucks, a little overboard. I just did it because I didn't want to whip out my knife. It's dull and it sucks. But now that you're this far, remove the electrical tape over here on the eye because you don't even really need it. This was just for, um, to make it a little easier for you guys to see and it kind of helps. But if I was just doing this in the field, I wouldn't probably put the electrical tape on there. So now that you have it like this, what I like to do is take my electrical tape and I like to tape around and whip over all three of these ends just to make sure it stays intact. Voila, you have tied an ice spice. Perfect. To put on a tagline. Which is way more work wise for tying a permanent eye in something such as like a tagline. A bowling is too bulky, it'll get caught in everything. And my line will work, it could kill you. So if you have any questions at all, comment down below and I'll gladly like to help. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the like button because it helps me out a lot. And subscribe for more videos. Before you get off YouTube, make sure to watch that video and maybe even that video and subscribe right here in the middle. Bam! As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Work safe out there and yeehaw.